In this tutorial, I'll be showing you my process for getting really loud masters for clients. In this video, we're going to master this song together, okay? It's called Good Intentions featuring Lil Sean. It was released recently on Spotify and other streaming platforms. If you liked listening, you can click the link in the description below. Alright, so the first thing you want to make sure you have said before you master any song or any genre at all is to make sure that the song is well mixed. Now, how do you know the song is well mixed? You have to make sure that it does not distort, which is very important. There should be no distortion or clipping, okay? Next, you have to make sure that you can hear almost everything, every element in the mix. It should sound clear. And lastly, the vocals and other elements of the song should sound relatively consistent in terms of loudness level. We should not have the vocals sound really quiet in the verse, then become very loud in the second verse, okay? It should be, there should be a balance. It should sound relatively balanced, okay? Now, back to mastering. Many people typically associate mastering with loudness. They are not entirely wrong, but mastering is simply preparing a song for a particular playback system, platform, or use case. The mastering requirement if a song was to be made for tape or vinyl will be a bit different from the requirements for streaming platforms. For this song, the first thing I'll do, okay, after having my well mixed track in the playlist, is just link it to the mixer, okay, not on your master channel, on your inserts, because if you have it on your master channel and you apply effects on your master channel, whenever you're trying to bring in your reference track, it's going to automatically take the master effect. So having it on a separate insert channel is best, all right? So the first process we're going to have is the EQ, okay? This can be any EQ. I'm going to use the FL Studio Stock EQ, all right? And all we're trying to do right here is take out some low end so we can open up some more headroom for loudness, okay? And you can use... Like I said, you can use any EQ for this, but depending on the genre, I would say it should roll off about 30 to 45 hertz. So for this, this is the low frequency, so you have a lot of bass. So I'm going to come right here, right click this, come to type, come to high pass. Yes, you want a high pass filter. Then other step eight side should be steep, all right? So now we're going to sweep across to about, let's say 30 hertz. Let's start from about 35 hertz, somewhere around there and see how it sounds. I turn it off Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. so let's take it about let's say about 40 hertz and see Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. baby give me one time vibes on vibes drinks all night don't be shy without it Now, when cutting off low ends, you have to be careful that you don't cut out so much that the song now sounds dull or sound like it does not have that punch anymore, okay? We're just cutting out the sub bass frequency range, okay? It should not be too obvious. Now, after using an EQ, the next thing I would do is to use a form of saturation. This is just to make the parts of the song, you know, stick together and make the elements pop some more to make it sound more present, all right? And for this, I'm going to use Virtual Tape Machine from Slate Digital, okay? This is a very easy to use plugin. It's really easy to use. And I like the character it adds to my master. And I do not always use this, okay? But when I do use this, it does sound good. So after using an EQ, the next thing I use is a form of saturation. This is just to glue the parts of the song together and also make the elements in the song pop some more and make it sound, you know, more present, all right? So now this is Slate Digital's virtual tape machine. It's really easy to use, okay? What we're really going to focus on right here for the case in this mastering um, tutorial is this button right here. This is linked. You can see it's linked to this right here, okay? So I'm going to adjust this slightly so we can bring back some more presence, especially after cutting out, you know, that low end we just did. We need some more presence back in the mix. So we're going to adjust this just gradually. Sometimes you may even need to, you know, tone it down a bit because it may add unnecessarily too much low end to your master, okay? So you have to listen and adjust accordingly. It's already making the master sound dark and heavy. If I turn it off, Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. and when I turn it on, Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes. 
so you have to be careful when using this plugin okay we just want a little bit not so much because i'm going to relax it a little Now it's time to use a stereo enhancer to spread out the elements of the song a little bit okay i recommend you don't use this so much okay just use the little bit as excess stereo enhancements can cause face problems or even make your song sound too spacious making it lack depth and bass okay so right here you get to relax just take this expand it a little bit i usually stick within this um first line right here okay so it's between here and here okay that's usually i don't i rarely go beyond this point okay so when i listen Turn it off. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. Baby, give me one. You see, the whole thing sounds so focused and in the middle, right? When it's and when it's not on, but when I turn it on. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. Baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes, drinks on night. Don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. You can hear the elements more you can hear the reverb tail clearly you can hear more elements in the mix even even more clearly right so like i said you don't use it so much just a little bit now i prefer to use um fl studio stock plugin for this but there are many other versions you can use you can use isotope um stereo enhancer plugin waves has does have their own stereo enhancement plugin and most digital audio workstation all right most doors do have their own um, stereo enhancement plugin okay just use a little bit of it doesn't need to be fancy now i need to add some life and more character to the master and for that i'll be using this third party analog model eq okay this is the shep's eq from waves what it is to enhance frequencies some frequencies and maybe also cut back on some frequencies right for example if you want a brighter master okay you are simply going to boost the high end right here just boost it right here all right or you can if you want to make it darker you can reduce the high end okay so let me just um, reset this and if i want the vocals to be more talked into the song i can simply cut the high mid frequency okay and now this cuts or boost should be within about plus or minus 3 db where i try not to go over the top with this okay and this eq i can simply pick the exact frequency band i want okay for example this is um 3200 heads or 3.2 kilohertz okay this is 4.8 kilohertz okay so if i want to talk my vocals you know i'll be looking at around the 800 to 1200 heads i can talk my vocals into the mix a little bit more if i want the vocals to be more present in the mix you know shoot out a little bit more i can boost that range of um vocal okay of um, frequencies for the vocal all right and also this is the low end low frequencies which range from about um, 35 hertz right here from 35 hertz to 220 hertz okay so with this you can cut or boost um low frequencies i really do boost low frequency when mastering in fact i do cut most times when i'm um, mastering all right so let's see what we can do with this um bad boy right so, so from where i can hear i can still hear a little bit more bass in the song so i'm going to cut out a little bit more let's say around the um 110 hertz just a little like i said we don't want to go crazy just about um let's say about minus 0 0.8 db for now all right we'll come back and adjust as we listen then i think the mid frequency is fine i'm not going to touch anything there just leave it at zero so i feel like the master should be a bit brighter okay so i'm going to you know increase the um high frequencies just a little bit let's say about um 1.5 to about two kilo, um two decibels of gain so let's listen and see how it sounds like Without it, tonight don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. Baby, give me one time. With it, tonight don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. Baby, give me one time. See, so you can hear a little bit more brightness in the master, okay? And you can hear that the bass also is being cut just a little bit. I'm going to cut the bass again some more. 
let's say cut the base to about 1.4 or 1.5 right then boost the highs a little bit And when I turn it off, tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. baby, give me one time. And when I turn it on, tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes. You can see it sounds more present, right? And this is the beauty of using um analog model effects, okay? for your masters it gives that extra life all right now if you want a really bright master as most afro beats or pop record sound you can use this free sneaky plugin by slate digital called fresh air this bad boy right here you can use fresh air it's free you can get it from slate digital's website now this plugin simply enhances the high mids and high frequencies of a song making it sound crisp and bright the amount you use typically depends on you but try not to make your song too bright as it can cause harshness or make your artist's vocal sound raspy. Alright, so now I'm going to just increase this just a little bit. This is for the high frequency, this is for the high mid um, frequencies. I'm gonna turn it off. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. Baby, give me one time. I'm gonna turn it on. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. Baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes, drinks on night. Don't be shy, yeah. You can see, add some more presence to the master, even make it brighter as well. So now, before we add our limiter, which is the loud part that you know you have been waiting for, we're going to use a loudness um, meter. That is your lean loudness meter to check to make sure that we do not exceed minus eight between minus eight to minus ten dB. Okay, you want to stick within that range for most of your masters if you are mastering for streaming platforms. Okay, so this is it. It's totally free. Just Google your lean loudness meter. You should find it. Free to download. Lightweight. Doesn't drag your PC. Barely adds any weight on your CPU. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. Baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes, drinks on So you can see we're at around minus 13 um, LUFS, right? So like I said, I want to stick within minus 8 to minus 10 LUFS range, all right? So now we can, we can pull in our limiter, all right? You can use FL Studio Stock limiter, but I prefer to use Isotope Ozone um, limiter, which is the maximizer. All right, so we're going to make this louder. I like to use this um, IC3 mode. All right, if you want your song to sound even more crisp, you can use the crisp version. Okay, if you want to get that clipping distortion feel on your master, you can use this. But I just want balance, right? I don't want to be crisp or pumping or any of that, just clean as it is. All right, so I also want to reduce this down. Okay, then we're going to adjust this accordingly. And then we pull out uh, your lean loudness meter. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. You see, we're even entering into minus seven, so we're going to relax it a little bit, okay? Take it back up a little. Tonight, don't be shy, yeah, ooh. Baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes, drinks on night. Don't be shy, yeah, ooh. 
Shorty call me now, Miss Jack, yeah Make I do you many, many things, yeah I gon' know what I you touch, yeah Oh my God, yeah I don't demand Got your body, got me gay you can see what somewhere around minus eight um lufs which is fine okay it's safe and if you can listen this song is not clipping it's not distorting it still sounds clean Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. baby give me one time vibes on vibes drinks all night don't be shy yeah Ooh. oh my bad girl bad girl Fuku riding coming i'm inside yeah. inside Make I do you many, many things, yeah. yeah. I gon' know what I you touch, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I don't demand. Got your body got me gazing. I'm just trying to keep a button faded. Now, a bonus tip you can do when mastering is go to the loudest part of the song, and most times it's in chorus or the part that has the most bass elements, okay? That's where you really want to check for your integrated loudness, okay? You don't want that point to be beyond um, minus eight LUFS, okay? Now this is not a rule. I'm just giving you know, a guide, okay? So there are some times you may get to minus seven, boom clip still sounds fine. That's great, but minus eight to minus ten is usually a decent place to be at, okay? So you want to go to that point that has the most bass element. Play the song over and over again. Make sure it's not clipping in that point. If it's not clipping in that point. You should be fine in the in the rest in the entire part of the master, okay? Tonight, don't be shy, yeah. Ooh. Baby, give me one time. Vibes on vibes, trip. Right, so that's fine. Now we're done with our mastering basically. So now let's listen to it and see how it sounds. Now, just to show you that this is not just about loudness, okay? I'm going to turn off um all the effects but i'll leave the maximizer on because there'll be a bias if i allow it to stay with the loudness thing on okay so i'm going to turn off all the effects but i'll leave the maximizer on this does not have any effect on the sound whatsoever so it doesn't matter all right so i'm going to leave this maximizer on so this is it without any of the processing tonight don't be shy yeah Ooh. I turn on all the processing this is how it sounds tonight don't be shy yeah Ooh. baby give me one time vibes on vibes drinks all night don't be shy yeah Ooh. oh my bad girl bad girl fuck around and call me now me sad girl make i do you many many things yeah, yeah. i gon' know what i you touch yeah oh my god yeah i don't need me so remember, you can listen to the full song on your favorite streaming platform, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify. Okay, you can listen to this, the entire thing from start to finish, so you can hear the work that was done on the master, okay? And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. See you soon. Cheers.